Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Santiago AQ over here and today I have a very special video prepared for you guys. Because in today's video I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of Ambos, my favorite all-in-one study resource to learn medicine. And what makes this video so special is that I've partnered with Ambos to give away one three-month subscription plan of Ambos Plus with a net value of 150 bucks, completely free for one of you guys. All you need to do is follow the rules that I'm going to break down at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's get on and see what the platform can offer. Okay, I learned about Ambos about a year ago, when I was prepping for the USMLE Step 1. And it was a great resource, not only because it helped me achieve the score that I achieved, and it was really the best resource I came across during my prep, but I was pleasantly surprised that even after presenting the steps, it was a great study tool. In fact, ever since I used it for my USMLE prep, I've kept using Ambos as my go-to resource to study medicine. And I do believe that if you couple Ambos with UpToDate and a few review articles, you're set. You don't need to go outside those resources to learn anything they throw at you. And so what I'm gonna do in the next few minutes is walk you through the entire platform showing you exactly why I believe Ambos is such a great tool. So well, let's begin. Okay, I wanted to begin this video with the medical library because I do think that these guys hit it out of the park with this one. They summarize around 22,000 topics into what they like to call articles. Now, those articles are really amazing because they have the, just the right proportion of information. They don't drown you in details as other resources do, like up to date or the classic books, which are just filled with so much information that it becomes unpractical. For example, in UpToDate, if you want to read about acute myocardial infarction, you'd have to read like 30 articles on the topic. Here, that's not the case. Here, you just delivered the right amount of information. For you to grasp what you need to grasp, they explain what you need to know, and then you can move on to the next topic. And the really cool thing about it is that depending on your goal, you can tailor the library to fit your needs. For example, if you just want to learn about medicine for your rotations, for your clerkships, well, you can do so by activating a mode that's called clinician, where they're going to give you everything you need to know to practice medicine in your rotations, in your observerships, and so on and so forth. But on the other hand, if you, for example, just want to study for step one or for step two CK and you're short on time, so you just want to learn the high yield content, you can activate a mode called high yield, where they're going to show you just what you need to know. The other thing I loved about this library is the efficiency it provides. And that was particularly helpful compared with a resource such as the first aid that everybody uses. Finding information in the first aid is a nightmare because even if you have the PDF version on your computer, Finding information, if you put, if you search a specific word, it may show up on 7, 10, 20 different pages and you're, you don't know which one is the one you're looking for. In here, that's not the case. You just type the word, type the specific subject you're looking for, and voila, you have the specific article and topic. And not only that, all of the other articles that mention the topic in case you want to review them, but you go straight to the one that, that is most relevant to your search. And as if that weren't enough, the library has just all of these small features that make it so awesome. For example, every now and then they throw at you some mnemonics that are that are great. Additionally, uh, they have like specific tools. For example, if you review some table and you want to test yourself to see if you actually memorize the content, you can hide that content to see if you actually remember everything once uh, like the, the specific hints are hidden. So that was the first part of the library, like all of the content per se. But now we're going to move on to my favorite part, which is all of the multimedia that they have. And this is really mind blowing. They have a ton of stuff. First, they have diagnostic images. And I found those images awesome, especially for the ones for, for students that are not that good reading x-rays or reading ECGs, because what they do with all of these images is that they give you pointers. For example, if you're reading an x-ray, they, they highlight the specific part that you need to put attention to. If you're looking at an ECG, they have arrows explaining, oh, this is what you should look. This is the weird part. This is what's not normal. If you look, for example, at coronary angiographies, you look at exactly the same. They highlight the anatomy that you need to know. They make it easier 
for you to understand, oh, so this is the blocked vessel. Oh, so this is the vessel once it's opened up. Additionally, it's really one of the few platforms I've encountered that have a CTs where you can walk through the entire CT, like in, in specific sections, not just uh, like a, a, a shot of a part of a CT, like the whole CT, it's amazing. Uh, not only that, we also have histology slides, and this is not your typical histology slide because you can make like an infinite zoom. So you can start with a really broad image of this of the slide and then zoom as much as you want until you watch all of the of the specific details, the specific cells. And this is a great way to study histology. Beyond these, all of these amazing images, we also have like general images and th those are really great, really, really beautiful pictures. You, uh, you can grab them, by the way, you can copy them and paste them, for example, in your Anki cards. So that's awesome. Um, and we're going to talk about later how to, you can integrate Ambus with Anki. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, so you have these anatomy pictures, a great, uh, a ton of physiology, uh, biochemical, immunology. Like you can find pretty much anything you like over here in the library. And last but not least, as if all of the things we've covered weren't enough, they also have a specific section about physical examination. So for example, if you're in your first years of medical school and you're learning how to listen to the heart, how to listen to lungs, you can go to this library and listen to every murmur and every normal heart sound you like for as many times as you want. You can even do some clinical cases, as we'll go enter in a second, to test your knowledge on all of those skills. Uh, well, that leads me straight into the QBank, which is one of my favorite parts of the platform. The QBank is really awesome. First, because of the quality and the similarity of the QBank related to the questions that appear in the USMLE, both step one and step two CK. Uh, the critique I see often with regards to the Ambus QBank is that some of, some of the questions are so much harder than the real exam. But you see, in my experience, those extra difficult questions are the ones that best train you to answer the WTF questions that appear on the real test. Because if you learn how to make a coherent case, even when you don't have all the details at hand, even when you're not comfortable with a question, you are on your way to answer or at least to maximize your chances of answering difficult questions correctly. The other thing I love about the Ambos Cuban is how it's integrated with the library. So if you're, for example, reading the explanation of a question and something uh, isn't as clear with just the explanation, you just have to click on the specific subject and that's gonna take you right away to the specific article on the topic. So you can read a little bit further. And the great thing is that the integration works both ways. So if you wanna jump to the article right from the QBank, you can do so. But if you wanna jump from the article to the QBank, you can do so as well. All you need to do again is to go ahead to the top part of the screen click button that says keep making a QBank, you make your specific QBank, you, you decide if you want to study just the, the basic sciences, just the clinical sciences of, or everything, and voila, you have your specific QBank that tests what you have just read. That's precisely the level of integration you need if you want to use your QBanks as your main study resource, which is something that I highly recommend you to do. Like, you can't imagine the amount of time you're wasting by answering questions on your world and then having to go to the first aid to find a specific subject. Then you find out that the explanation of the first aid was not enough. So you have to Google and then you have to go to YouTube and then you have to build this video. You waste so much time by juggling all of these resources and Ambos just packs everything together in one single platform. It's just amazing. And finally, the other thing I love about the Ambos QBank is that it allows you to create text of questions. So for example, let's say you're studying for you for your USML is step one and epidemiology is such a hustle for you. Well, all you need to do is to create a folder of epidemiology where you save all of those questions that you want to review further in the future, or let's say a few days before your exam, you can do so, you can keep them, to, you don't have to re search for the entire QBank, no, you just keep them over there and review them as many times as you want. And well, we really just scratched the surface of everything Ambos has to offer. For example, it has an Anki add-on, so if you love doing your flashcards and you want to integrate the, the Ambos platform to your flashcards in Anki, straight from Anki, you can do so with just following by just following a few steps. If you want to review the, the library articles or do some questions in a pinch, you can do so with the mobile phone app. 
uh, Ambos also provides a specific recommendation. So they will tell you, okay, you're getting a lot of questions about this specific topic wrong recurrently. So you should probably read these few articles before you start working on something else. So it's really, really amazing everything it has to offer. And just like that, there are a ton of other tools available in the platform. But I don't want to bore you like with a 30 minute video showing exactly everything you can do. I want you to test it for yourself. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to get your five day free trial to see if Ambos fits your needs or not. And additionally, we're doing a giveaway. We're giving away a three month subscription plan of Ambos Plus to one of you guys. This plan usually has a 149 bucks cost and it's going completely free to one of you lucky guys. All you need to do to enter the contest is like this video, subscribe to this channel and leave us in the comment section a comment with one of your favorite quotes and a way to contact you. The quote can be really about anything. Uh, just keep it PG-13. Like I don't want to be deleting satanic quotes over there in the comment section, but really about anything and a way to contact you. So for example, leave your Instagram account, leave an email. So in case you win, I can send you all of the information you need to retrieve the prize. Now you can leave as many comments with as many quotes as you like. The more comments you leave, the higher chances you have of winning. Um, you have until March the 10th, which is a Wednesday, until 7 p.m. Eastern time, moment at which I'll be announcing the winner in my Instagram page. Uh, I'll also be announcing it over here in the YouTube, uh, in the YouTube comments in case you don't have an Instagram. Uh, but anyways, best of luck. I hope that the best quote wins. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. I'm caught in the way you